Hey, babe, guess what? What's got you so excited? I've been thinking. What if I quit my job? Okay. Why would you do that? Everything's been going so well. I know, but it's just so draining. I sit at that desk all day, feeling unfulfilled. I get that. But a steady paycheck is important for us. And Luke. Hear me out. I could be a full-time streamer. It's like my hobby, but I could actually make money doing it. Streaming? Like playing video games online? Yeah, but it's more than just playing. It's building a community, being entertaining, creating cool content. I think I'd be really good at it. I believe in you, honey. But how exactly does that pay the bills? You get donations, subscribers, sponsorships. Some streamers make a ton of money. Those are the famous ones. There are millions of others who never make it. I can be different. I've already got a small following, and I love interacting with people. I still don't like the idea of you quitting a stable job for something so unpredictable. But think about it, honey. Wouldn't it be great if I didn't have to commute and could spend more time with Luke? Sure, that would be nice, but we need financial security too. Maybe it'll take time to get there, but eventually I could make more than I do now. And I'd be so happy doing it. I just don't want you to put all your eggs in one basket. Don't you think a compromise is possible? Like what? Maybe start streaming part-time? See how it goes. If you build a solid audience, then consider quitting your job. I guess I could do that. But it wouldn't be quite as exciting. Think of it as a trial run. It shows a bit more responsibility, don't you think? Oh, fine. But if I blow up and get famous, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Deal. But I'll only start believing when I see a paycheck, mister. Challenge accepted. I love your enthusiasm. Remember, whatever you decide, I'll support you. Love you, babe. You're the best. Hey, babe. Can we talk? It's about the streaming thing again. All right, what's going on? Still not making a fortune with the streaming, huh? Don't joke. It's going okay. I've got more followers and donations are coming in. But it's still not enough to live off. See? This is why I wanted you to do it part-time first. I know, I know. But... What if I told you I'd quit and take care of everything around the house? Everything? Like cooking, cleaning, taking care of Luke? All of it? Absolutely. Think of me as your super-powered house husband and online superstar in the making. And what about Luke's schedule? Who handles school drop-offs and all that? I've got it figured out. My streaming times can work around Luke's school day. I can dedicate mornings to him, housework, everything. I don't know, Marshall. It's still risky. How long are you willing to give this if you don't see big returns? How about six months? That's a solid chunk of time. And if I don't hit decent numbers, I'll go back to a regular job. No complaints. Hmm. Six months. And you pinky promise about handling the house stuff? Cross my heart. Think of all the free time you'd have, with me running the home front. Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, it would be pretty tempting to come home to a clean house and dinner on the table. Come on, babe. Let's take a leap of faith. You won't regret it. You're awfully persuasive. All right, all right. But six months, and you have to stick to your house husband duties. Dale, you're going to be so proud of me. This is it. My big break is coming. Just don't forget to set the alarm for Luke's school tomorrow, superstar. Got it, boss. Thanks, honey. I love you. Love you, too. Now let's see what this house husband streamer combo can do. Marshall, we need to talk about the bills. We're already behind on rent. I know, I know. 
Things are a little tight right now, but I'm working on it. My streaming is picking up. I'm gaining more followers. Followers don't pay the bills. You've been at this for months and we haven't seen a dime. It takes time, Joanna. You have to be patient. Building a successful stream isn't an overnight thing. I've been patient. Too patient. I don't know how much longer we can keep living like this. Come on, it's not that bad. And hey, at least the house stays clean and I'm helping Luke with his studies. That's great and all, but it doesn't put food on the table or keep a roof over our heads. Look, I just need a little more support. We could make this work if you just believed in me. It's hard to believe in something that isn't producing anything, Marshall. I'm starting to get really worried. I get it. But trust me, things are going to turn around. I have a good feeling about this. You said that last month. And the month before that. And the month before that. I can't give up, Joanna. This is my dream. And I'm not just doing it for me. I'm doing it for our family. We have a family now that's on the brink of falling apart. I don't know what else to say. Fine. If you don't want to be supportive, then don't. But at least keep your negativity to yourself. My negativity? Is facing reality and worrying about bills being paid negatively now? Your constant complaining is killing the vibe for everyone. Luke's trying to focus on studying and you're over here stressing him out. I'm stressing him out? Maybe if you were actually earning a living, we wouldn't be walking on eggshells around here. Oh, so now you're saying I'm not providing. I'm taking care of things around here, so it's one less thing you have to worry about. House chores don't cover the mortgage, Marshall. I work a full-time job, and it's barely enough to keep us afloat. Well, maybe if you didn't criticize every little thing I do, I'd be more motivated. This isn't easy, you know. Easy? Sitting around playing video games all day is easy. Bringing in a salary, that's not easy. I'm tired of being the only responsible adult here. And I'm tired of feeling like a failure. I'm trying, okay? Just cut me some slack for once. Slack? How much more slack can I give you? This isn't how it's supposed to be. I need a partner, not another child to take care of. Don't call me a child. You'll be sorry once I make it big and make us rich. Just trust me, okay? And I'm taking care of the housework, right? Okay, okay. I'm just stressed out, that's all. You shouldn't take it out on me. I'll keep taking care of everything at home and I'll start bringing money in soon too, okay? Just trust me, please. Okay, okay, I will. Thanks for taking care of things. And I guess Luke benefits from having his dad around a lot. Exactly. Thank you for understanding. It's fine. Anyway, I'll be home soon. So, see you later. Hey, honey. I'll be leaving work soon. I'll be home in an hour. Can't wait to see you guys. Actually, can you not come home tonight? Luke is really busy studying for the SATs and needs a quiet house to focus. What? Why didn't you tell me earlier? I've been looking forward to coming home and seeing the family. I know, I'm sorry. But it's really important that Luke does well on this test. It's a big opportunity. I understand that, but I also feel like I'm being pushed out of my own home. Why wouldn't you guys want me around? I work all day and then I can't even come home to relax and see my family. What have I done to deserve this? I'm not pushing you out, I just want to support Luke in the future. And you can come home tomorrow and spend time with our child then. I guess you're right. It's just hard for me to understand why Luke can't study at the library or somewhere else. Luke's tried that before, but says working at home is better. Plus, there's been so much stress lately and I want our child to feel comfortable in this space while studying. I get it, I really do. I just wish there was a way for me to be a part of this process and support Luke too. You are a part of this process. You're a parent. And you can support Luke by understanding why this is important to our child and to us as a family. Okay, okay. I'll stay at a hotel tonight. But can I at least talk to Luke and wish him good luck before I go? Of course. That would be appreciated. And I'll make it up to you, I promise. You just need to give Luke some time. So, what should I do? 
Just wait until studying is finished and then I can come back? When is that going to be? Yes, that's the plan. Luke just needs this one night to focus and then you can come back tomorrow. I don't understand why I can't come home and be there for Luke. I can be quiet and not disturb the studying. I know, but there's really a lot of stress right now. Luke's worried about the SATs. But I want to help, not make things worse. How is it so bad to have me in the house? I don't get it. I know you want to help, but Luke just needs this one night to focus. And you know, this kind of pressure is different. You wouldn't fully understand how hard Luke is studying. What do you mean I can't understand? I've worked hard my entire life. I've provided for our family. And now you're saying I can't understand Luke's struggles? I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that the SATs and the college process is a different experience. It's a different level of stress and pressure. You wouldn't get it since you didn't take school seriously enough. I get that, but that doesn't mean I can't understand what Luke's going through. I've been through tough times in my life too. I know you have, but this is a different situation. And it's important that Luke has this one night. I understand that, but I still don't like it. I don't want to be away from my family. I love you both. I know, but it's just for one night. And you can come back tomorrow and spend the whole day with us. But you know, you could stand to make a little bit more money, by the way. I can't believe this is happening. I work hard every day and now I'm being told I can't come home to my own family because Luke is studying for the SATs. And to top it off, you're telling me that I don't make enough money. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that the spouses of our friends get expensive gifts. And I feel like we're falling behind. And what's wrong with what we have? We have a roof over our heads, food on the table, and Luke is getting a good education. I know that, but I see what our friends have and it makes me feel like we're missing out. Well, maybe if you stopped comparing ourselves to others, you'd be happier. We have a good life and we should be thankful for what we have. I know, but it's just hard when everyone else seems to have more. And that's because they might be spending all their money on material things. We have what's important our health, our family, and each other. I know, but I just feel like we could have more. Well, I work hard every day to provide for our family, and if you want more, maybe you should get a job too. I do work. I take care of Luke in the house. I know that, but I just feel like I'm always the one taking on the full burden. I can't keep up with everyone's expectations, and I'm getting tired of it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I just want more for our family. I know, but we have to be realistic about what we can and can't afford. We have to prioritize what's important and make sure we have a happy, healthy family. I understand. I just get caught up in what others have and forget to be grateful for what we have. And that's why we have to focus on what's important, not what others have. We have each other, and that's all that matters. But there's this new virtual reality headset I've been wanting to get. I heard what you said earlier about wanting more, and now you want a high-tech gadget? Yes, I really want one. What's so wrong about that? I deserve to have nice things. And how much does this headset cost? It's a few thousand dollars. It shouldn't be an issue. Spouses of my friends get these things. A few thousand dollars? That's a lot of money! We can't afford that! I understand that, but I just really want one. It's nice to have nice things. And what about the money we've been saving for Luke's college education? That should be our priority. Have you forgotten about that? I know, but a high-tech gadget is just a small indulgence. It's really not that big of a deal. And that's not the point. We need to think about our long-term goals and saving for Luke's future. I understand that, but I just really want one. Don't you get it? And I understand that, but it's not feasible right now. Are you not hearing me? We need to stick to our budget and save for the future. We have to make sure Luke can go to whatever college is the right fit. I know, I just get so frustrated sometimes. We have to think about the big picture. I know. And speaking of Luke, I think it would be best if you didn't come home for a week, actually. So our child can study for the SATs. What? I can't believe you're saying that. I thought you said I could come home tomorrow. I know, but Luke needs to focus on studies and being around might be distracting. But it's not fair to me. 
I know, but Luke needs to do well on the SAT, so a good college is an option. And you being here will only create added anxieties. Well, I still don't like it. I feel like I'm being pushed away from my own family. I know, and I'm sorry, but it's for the best. I just hope Luke knows how much I love and support our child. Luke does. And once the SATs are over, we'll all be together again. I hope so. I just can't believe I won't be able to come home for a week. I know, and I'm sorry, but it's for the best. I just have to trust that you know what's best for Luke. I do, and I promise once the SATs are over, we'll all be together again. So I think Luke still needs some more time to study. I think it's best if you don't come home until graduation. What? But that's still a year away! So you're asking me to stay away for a whole year? Yes, I think it's for the best. Luke needs to focus on studies and graduate high school. And what about me? I want to be there for our child and support Luke too. I know, but Luke won't be able to focus with you around. I think it's important that our child has this time for focus. And what about us? Our relationship is important too. I know, but we can still stay in touch and support each other. We can have regular video calls and stay connected that way. It's just not the same. I want to be there for Luke in person, not just through a screen. I know, but it's for the best. And once graduation happens, we'll be together again. I don't know if I can do it. I feel like I'm losing my family. You're not losing your family. We'll still be here. We just won't be in the same place. I just don't like the thought of not being there for Luke. I really don't know if I can do it. I feel like I'm being pushed away from my own family. I know, and I'm sorry, but it's really for the best. I just have to trust that you know what's best for Luke. I do, and I promise once Luke graduates, we'll be together again. I hope so. I just can't believe I won't be able to come home for a year. Hey, sweetie. How are you doing? Mom, why haven't you come home? Dad said you ran off with another person. What? No, that's not true. I haven't run off with anyone. Then why haven't you come home? Your dad and I have been having some disagreements about what's best for you. Dad thinks it's better if I stay away for a while so you can focus on your studies. But I miss you, Mom. I need you here. I miss you too, sweetie. And I'm so proud of you for working so hard on your studies. But dad said I can't go to college. He said I have to start working as soon as I graduate high school. That's not true. You can do anything you want to do. You're smart and capable, and you deserve to go to college if that's what you want. But dad said we can't afford it. That's not true. We'll find a way to make it work. I'll support you in whatever you want to do. But why can't you come home? I need you here, Mom. Your dad and I have been having some disagreements, and Dad thinks it's better if I stay away for a while. But I promise, once you graduate high school, we'll be together again. But what if Dad doesn't want you to come home? That doesn't matter. I'm your mother, and I love you, and I want to be there for you. But what about college? We'll make it work. I promise. You deserve to go to college if that's what you want to do. I just don't understand why you haven't come home. I need you here, Mom. I know, and I'm so sorry. But your dad and I are working through our disagreements, and once you graduate high school, we'll be together again. But what if dad doesn't want you to come home? It's already been four months and doesn't seem to care at all. I just miss you, Mom. I miss you too, sweetie. And I'm so proud of you for working so hard on your studies. I just don't understand why you haven't come home. Your dad told me it's better for you to focus on your schoolwork if I'm not around. So when your dad told me you didn't want me around, that's not true, is it? No, Mom. I would never say that. I love you and I miss you so much. I can't believe Dad would say something like that. It's not true and it's not fair to either of us. I don't understand why Dad would do that. Your dad and I have been having some disagreements, and he's not always honest with me. But I promise, I'm always here for you, no matter what. Thank you, Mom. 
That means a lot to me. You know, I remember you always talked about wanting to be a teacher. Is that still something you're interested in? Yes, Mom. I still want to be a teacher. I love working with kids and helping them learn. That's great, sweetie. You'll be a fantastic teacher. But what about college? Dad says we can't afford it. That's not true. We'll find a way to make it work. And I have to admit, I've been wondering where all our money is going. Your dad and I need to have a serious talk about our finances. I know. It's been hard without you here, Mom. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I wish I could be there for you every day. But I promise, once you graduate high school, we'll be together again. And we'll figure out a way to make college happen for you. Thank you, Mom. That means a lot to me. You're welcome, sweetie. I love you and I'm always here for you. I love you too, Mom. And I need to talk to your dad about our finances and make sure we're on the same page. I don't want you to have to worry about anything. Thank you, Mom. You're the best. You're welcome, sweetie. I love you and I'll always be here for you, no matter what. I love you too, Mom. I just wish you were here. I wish I could be there too, sweetie. But I promise once you graduate high school, we'll be together again. And we'll make sure you can go to college and pursue your dreams of being a teacher. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Take care of yourself and keep studying hard. We'll be together again soon. I have to go to my part-time job now. Talk to you later. I will come home tomorrow, but I want to make sure you're okay first. You shouldn't have to work, especially not at your age. How much are you earning from your job? I don't make much, but I need to save up for college. Dad said that I can't go to college because we don't have the money for it. What? That's unacceptable. I'll make sure you have the funds for college, even if I have to take out a loan. You deserve a bright future, and I won't let anything stand in your way. I appreciate that, Mom, but I don't want you to be in debt because of me. I've been thinking, and I think I know where the money is going. Dad has been spending a lot lately, and I think Dad's been buying expensive things. I had no idea. I've been so caught up in my own problems that I haven't been paying attention. I'll talk to Dad and find out what's been going on. You shouldn't have to worry about money. You need to focus on your studies. Thanks, Mom. I'm just worried about what's going to happen. If Dad won't let me go to college, what am I supposed to do after I graduate? Don't worry. We'll figure it out together. I'll make sure you have the opportunity to pursue your dreams, no matter what. And I promise I'll be there for you from now on. I'm sorry for not being here for you these past few months. It's okay, Mom. I know you have your own problems to deal with, but I think you should stay away a little longer. I'll try to figure out what Dad's up to. I missed you too, honey. I promise I'll never leave you again. We'll work on fixing this family, together. And I'll make sure your dad knows how important it is for you to have a bright future. Are you sure you want me to stay away? Why don't I just confront Dad? I don't think that's the best idea right now. Give me some time to find out why Dad's doing all this. Okay, if you think that's best. Let me know if you need anything. I love you. Thanks, Mom. I love you too. Where is Luke? Our child's been gone for three days and I'm worried sick. Why hasn't Luke come home? Calm down. Luke's with me. What? Why did Luke go with you? I thought you were staying away for a whole year. Luke needed my help. Luke came to me because of concerns about you and your behavior. Luke told me you were lying. That's not true. Luke's just confused. I'm calling the police. They'll find Luke and bring our child home. No, you're not calling the police. You need to listen to me. Luke is safe and with me because Luke needs my protection. Protection from what? What have you done? What have I done? I'm the one who's been trying to keep this family together while you've been lying to Luke and spending all of our money on yourself. What are you talking about? You told Luke that college is off the table, that we don't have the money. You made Luke get a job as a way to evade responsibility. And on top of that, you've been buying expensive things for yourself and lying to me about it. That's not true. I haven't been lying and I haven't been spending all of our money. Really? Then where is all the money going? 
I've been working hard to provide for this family, and yet we're still struggling. I don't know. I just wanted us to be comfortable. Comfortable? You're not making sense. And what's this about you cheating on me? What? I haven't cheated on you. How could you even say something like that? Luke told me everything, and Luke's not the only one who's seen you with this other person. You've been lying to me this whole time. I haven't been cheating on you. I swear. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you. Luke is with me because Luke's worried about you, and Luke doesn't want you lying anymore. Luke's sick of all the lies and needs a break from it. I understand that, but Luke's still my child. I need to see Luke. I'll bring Luke home when I think it's safe. Right now, Luke needs time away from you and all of the lies. We both do. I don't understand. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. I want you to stop lying to me and Luke. I want you to start acting like a responsible parent and spouse instead of a selfish person who only thinks about themselves. I'm not selfish. I just wanted us to be happy. Then start acting like it. Luke is suffering because of your lies, and I'm tired of it. If you can't start being honest and responsible, then maybe it's time for us to go our separate ways. You're lying to me again, aren't you? Luke found your dating app and your messages with another person. I have proof. That's not true. I can explain. You've been lying to Luke, to me, to everyone. What kind of parent does that make you? It's not what it looks like. I was just talking. It's not serious. Talking? You were arranging to meet up, to cheat on me. And then you had the audacity to lie to Luke about me running off with another person? That's low. Even for you. I'm sorry. I was just feeling so lonely and neglected. You've been so distant, and I thought this person could fill that void. You told me not to come home. Of course I was distant. And that's not an excuse for cheating on me and lying to Luke. You have to face the consequences of your actions. What are you going to do? Are you going to leave me? I don't know. Right now, I just need time to think. But what about Luke? I don't want to lose Luke. That's up to Luke. You lied, and Luke's going to need some time to process that. Our child is also going to need some support. I'll do anything to make it up to Luke. I'll change. I'll be a better parent, a better spouse. Words are easy. It's actions that count. And right now, I don't even know if I can trust you. I understand. I'll do anything to make it right. For now, I need some space. I need to figure out what I want, what's best for Luke, and what's best for me. I understand. I'll do anything to fix this. I just need time, that's all. I can't believe you cheated on me. After all these years of marriage, you went behind my back and had an affair. I'm sorry. I made a mistake and I regret it. Sorry isn't enough. I want a divorce. You can't just leave me. We have a child together. I know that, but I can't stay in a relationship with someone I can't trust. Fine, but you're going to regret this. I'll make sure you pay a hefty amount of child support. You're making a big mistake. You're going to regret leaving me. I've already made arrangements for Luke and me. We've rented an apartment near school in my office. What? You can't just take Luke away from me. Luke wants to live with me. Our child is tired of all the lies and drama. You're just twisting words. Luke's confused right now and doesn't know what's best. I think it's time for us to have an honest conversation with Luke and hear what Luke has to say. No, I won't let you take Luke away from me. I'll fight for custody. That's your choice. But I think it's best for Luke if we come to a mutual agreement and make this transition as smooth as possible. Fine, but you're going to regret this. You're going to realize what you lost when you see me happy with someone else. I don't think that will happen. I just want to move on and provide a stable and happy environment for Luke. We'll see about that. I'll start the divorce proceedings tomorrow. It's time for us to move on and start a new chapter in our lives. Fine, but you'll regret leaving me. I don't think so. I'm ready to move on and be happy again. You lied to Luke about the college money. You made Luke believe that going to college was impossible so that Luke would work and support us. That's not fair. I know. I'm so sorry. 
I never meant to hurt Luke or you. I just didn't know how to face the reality that we were running out of money. Your apologies mean nothing to me now. You've damaged our relationship with Luke beyond repair. And to top it off, you cheated on me. How could you do that? I made a mistake. I was feeling overwhelmed and lonely and I turned to someone else for comfort. But it was just a one-time thing, I swear. I love you and our family more than anything. Love shouldn't make you do something like that. And even if it was just one time, it's still a betrayal. I don't know if I can ever trust you again. I understand. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I'll go to therapy. I'll change. I'll be a better spouse and parent. Just please give me another chance. I don't know. I need time to think. Right now, I just need space from you. I understand. I'll give you all the space you need. I just want you to know that I'll be here, waiting for you to come back to me. I don't know what the future holds. All I know is that right now I need to focus on myself and on Luke. Luke needs us to be strong, especially now with the stress of exams and the disappointment of not being able to go to college. I understand. I'll do whatever it takes to support Luke. I'll be here, no matter what. Let's just take things one day at a time. We'll talk more when I'm ready. Luke, I need your advice on something. Can we talk? Sure, Mom. Is everything all right? It's kind of complicated. It's about Dad. Okay. What about him? He's been apologizing a lot. He says the whole cheating thing was a huge mistake, that he never meant to hurt me. He wants us to go to therapy together, try to work things out. He says he'll do anything. What do you want to do, Mom? I honestly don't know. Part of me wants to give our family another chance. We've been together for so long and I know he loves us. But then, he betrayed my trust in the worst way. Yeah, that's rough. And the lying about college was messed up too. Exactly! I still can't believe he did that to you! He took away your dreams. It does still hurt. But he was under a lot of pressure too, I guess. That doesn't excuse it. And I'm scared. What if he breaks my heart again? Or worse, hurts you again? That's why it has to be your decision, Mom. I can't tell you what to do. But I value your opinion so much. Do you think I should take him back? Mom, honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of mad at him and scared too. But a part of me misses what we used to be. It sucks. I get it, sweetie. Sometimes I miss the way things were, too. Would family therapy with him even work? I mean, can people really change after they've messed up this badly? That's the thing. I'm not sure. Therapy might give us some answers, or it could be a waste of time. Don't you deserve a second chance at happiness, too? I wish it were that simple, Luke. Maybe if it was just me, but there's you to think about. I'm a teenager now, Mom. I won't be living at home forever. This really should be about you, not just me. You're so mature sometimes, it blows my mind. <laughs> not always. No, but seriously. Thank you for listening. It's what I'm here for. I think maybe I should talk to a therapist myself first. Get my own head straight. Then decide about family therapy or whatever. That sounds like a good plan. I love you, Luke. More than you'll ever know. I love you too, Mom. I hope you figure everything out. And whatever you choose, I'll support you. Hey, this is Rose. I think we need to talk about Marshall. Who is this? Don't play dumb, Joanna. You know exactly who I am. Look, I don't know what kind of game you think you're playing, but I'm not interested. Game? Honey, this is real life. Marshall and I are real. You need to back off and accept that your marriage is over. Is this some kind of joke? How dare you? Joke? Marshall's told me how miserable he is with you. He loves me. He's filing for divorce soon. Really? He was just begging me to give him another chance. Whatever, honey. 
He stays with me most nights. Tells me he regrets wasting his life with you. You're just a burden to him now. Oh, really? He said I'm the one who's a burden? Face it, Joanna. You lost. You've been living in a fantasy. Wake up and accept it. He's my man now. I'm not going to listen to your poison. If Marshall wants a divorce, he can tell me himself. Last I heard, he wanted me to give him another chance. I'm the one who was thinking about divorce. I know you're trying to save face, but this is just sad. I'll be his wife soon. It's okay if that upsets you. Be honest. Hmm. Well, he told me you were nothing serious. And just a mistake last time we spoke. What did he tell you? Are you sure you really know him? Oh, I know him better than you ever did. He's done with you. Sick of your nagging and the fact you never put any effort into yourself anymore. Get out of my life. You don't know anything. Denial won't change the truth, Joanna. Look in the mirror. You let yourself go. No wonder he found someone like me. Younger, happier, a woman who takes care of herself. Okay, I've heard enough. I'm just going to block you. I don't need to read your insults. You'll be so much better off without you dragging him down. You're delusional. Marshall would never say these horrible things about me. Oh, please. You both know it's true. You haven't been a real wife to him in years. It's pathetic. Tell me where he is. I want to talk to him. <laughs> you think he wants to see you? Do yourself a favor, Joanna, and let him go. Whatever. I'll talk to him myself and get to the bottom of this. He's lying to one of us. And I'm wondering if I even care which of us it is at this point. He would never lie to me. He's a great man and he deserves happiness. And you can't give him that. I'm going to call him now. Why? So you can beg. How sad. He's with me, where he belongs. He's not answering his phone. Have you hit it? Tell him to speak to me. And have you tearfully plead for him back? No, thanks. I'm not giving you the satisfaction. He's my husband. I deserve to hear the truth from him. The truth is harsh, honey. He's tired, bored, and he wishes you just disappear and let him be happy. I don't believe you. I'm calling him. Go ahead. He won't answer. And if he does, he'll tell you exactly what I've been saying. He wouldn't do that. You're just trying to hurt me. Maybe I am. But I think you know deep down I'm telling the truth. Don't you? Fine. If Marshall wants to be with you, then you can have him. Oh, now the tough act drops. Finally accepting the truth, Joanna. About time. He's not worth fighting for. You're welcome to him. I know I won. No need to rub it in. Now go on, cry to your mommy or something. Enjoy supporting him with your paycheck. Because you know he doesn't actually have a job, right? Wait, what? Of course he has a job. He's a big shot manager. Makes tons of money. That's one of the things I love about him. <laughs> oh, honey. You've been played. What are you talking about? Stop with the mind games. Marshall hasn't had a real job in months. Maybe even a year. He's been lying to you. Just like he's been lying to me. No way. He shows me his business card. Talks about all his important deals. Fake. All of it. He's broke and unemployed. That's where all our savings went, by the way. Likely funding your little shopping sprees. You're lying. This is some kind of trick. Ask him where he was working today. Go ahead. I dare you. You're lying. This is some kind of trick. I'm gonna call him. I thought he was with you. Oh, whatever. Call him then. Ask him where he was working today. Go ahead. I dare you. I will. I don't believe you for a second. Marshall loves me. Oh, he definitely loves all the money you think he has. Good luck with that. Shut up. I'm calling him right now. 
He's not picking up. Maybe he's in a meeting. Sure, keep telling yourself that. He probably saw your name and panicked. No, he would never lie to me. Denial is a powerful thing. Marshall has been nothing but a leech. I have no idea why I was even with him for so long. How dare you talk to me like that? Marshall is a good man. <laughs> a good man who cheats on his wife and lies about his job to impress his mistress? You really are a perfect match. He'll explain everything. You're just bitter and trying to ruin my happiness. Believe what you want, honey. But don't come crying to me when you end up broke and alone. I will never be like you. Never. I'm blocking you now. Enjoy your fantasy world. It won't last long. Joanna, I need to talk to you. Please, we need to talk. What is there to talk about, Marshall? You've said everything you needed to say. I know I messed up. I made the biggest mistake of my life. But I love you, Joanna. I love our family. You destroyed our family, not me. Please, let me explain. Let me try to make things right. How can you possibly make things right? The trust is gone. I'll do anything, I swear. Therapy, counseling, whatever you want. I just want a chance to fix this. And what about Rose? Did you tell her it's over? Or is she still funding your little charade? It's over with her. It was just a meaningless fling. I regret it with everything I have. Meaningless? You slept with her. Told her you loved her. You destroyed me. I know, and I'm so, so sorry. I was feeling lost, but that's no excuse. I just need another chance. Please. I need time, Marshall. I don't know what I want right now. I understand. But please, will you consider coming to therapy with me? Start the process? I don't know. I need to think. I'll be here, waiting. Hoping. I love you, Joanna. More than words can say. Don't give up on us yet. Why should I even consider it? You broke our vows, shattered our life. How can I ever believe you again? I wasn't thinking clearly. I was selfish and stupid. I'm willing to spend the rest of my life making it up to you and Luke. Making it up? There's no fixing this. Especially not after all the other lies about college money and your fake job. I can explain, I swear. I was under so much pressure and I made terrible choices. Excuses. You didn't just make one mistake, Marshall. It was years of lies and betrayal. Please, Joanna. I'm begging you. For Luke, we can rebuild this family together. I can't raise our son around a man I don't respect. I can't be with someone I don't trust. It's over. No, this can't be the end. What about everything we built together? Our history. That history is tainted now. I don't want to live in the past anymore. Joanna, please. I can't lose you. I can't lose my family. I'll do anything. I don't even recognize you anymore. I don't know who this person is begging in these texts. It's me. I'm still Marshall, the man you fell in love with. I'm still here, under all the mess. And what if you mess up again? What if you hurt me or Luke all over again? I can't risk that. But I won't. I've learned my lesson. Painfully. Please, just give me a chance. I just need time to think. To process all of this. Give me some space. Space? Or a reason to keep hoping? Please, Joanna. Stop. I can't do this right now. After all of this was finally over, I went through with the divorce and left Marshall for good. I was the one earning money, so it didn't really affect mine or Luke's life too much. We've both moved into a new apartment and we're doing just fine. Luke told me his father spent most of the time in his room, streaming to his non-existent audience. I'm wondering what I ever saw in that man, and why I let him take advantage of me for so long. But whatever. The past is behind me now, and me and Luke are thriving. That's the main thing. 
Luke has passed all of his exams and is happier than ever. And I'm up for a promotion soon. Life is great. I'm not in any rush to find a new partner or get married again soon. But when I am, I'll definitely be a lot more careful. As for Marshall, last I heard he went crying back to his parents, begging them to let him stay with them. But unfortunately for him, I already met with them and told them everything. Luke was still eager to have a relationship with his grandparents, so it was only fair. They were furious and decided they wanted nothing to do with their son anymore. And so Marshall has had no choice but to beg for his old job back and rent a small bedroom apartment by himself. I don't think his dreams of being an internet celebrity are coming true anytime soon. That's for sure. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.